we're glad to be back. After four games in a month, you played <clears throat> 10 games in 10 games in January, mm -hmm. February, a lot less practice time. How much more important does that make practice in? Because as a player, do you prefer playing games over practice? Um, I think every player <laughs> would prefer games over practice. Um, we just have to lock in. Um, for the younger guys, you know, they have to, you know, um, stay motivated. And it's going to be a quick month, like you said, a lot of games. So we're just excited to be here. How much, but how much importance is it to practice? Because mm -hmm. there's not going to be as many as maybe you're used to. And probably with a shorter roster, it's mm -hmm. going to be more concise. Uh huh. Yeah, uh, I think all of our work was really done in uh, preseason, you know, and before. So we're not really preparing, um, you know, the month of January for the games. You know, everything that we put in um, is before. So now we're just brushing up. So everyone has to be locked in. What is it like for you to have Coach back? Uh -huh. uh, it's, it's good. You know, we missed him and we're happy to have him back. AAC schedule is ramping up for you guys now. Final one for you. What um, what impression are you hoping to leave? Mm -hmm. um, you know, we want to leave a big mark. Um, you know, it just shows what kind of program um, that we're a part of, you know, just to be in this uh, conference, you know, to dominate, so. Did anyone ever use Gino's page against him in, re in your career? Did they ever mention oh. that, hey, maybe he might be retired or is that? A little bit, you know how schools are. Yeah. Um, yeah, they did, but I mean, me and him had that conversation, and you know, he's like, I'm here, so um, that was not really a big deal for uh, me coming here and being a part of this program. So. Patrick, this was asked before, but what have been, what's been the focus in the past few days, being back and preparing for the rest of the mm -hmm. Well, first thing was getting our win back. Uh, we had a couple days off, so everyone's trying to get it back on um, the ship. Um, we were working on uh, preparing for Wichita State and preparing for Baylor, so a bunch of offensive sets, um, you know, defense, um, really pressuring the ball and getting out in the passing lanes. So. Do you feel like the offense is in a good place? I know you guys had, obviously, a good showing at Oklahoma, but you know, coming off of that, too? Yeah, I feel like we're in a good place right now. We just have to be consistent, um, you know, come out as, with the same team in, uh, as we did in the, oh, sorry, in the, <laughs> in the first half and the second half as well. So. That's a field being number one again. Uh, that's where we want to be. Uh, like we mentioned um, before, you know, we're, we're glad to be there. Now we just got to prove uh, to everyone who we are. So. What's your message to a family who might consider coming out to a game in the new year? Why should they come watch you play? Mm -hmm. um, we're going to put on a show. You know, it's not a lot of things going on over the break. And, you know, we want uh, a great fan base. So. How are you building the game? You know, what's next? Right? So you kind of took that next step. Mm -hmm. Just you know, where do you want to sign to? Um, you know, just being more efficient. Um, you know, people are going to start uh, denying me. So just figuring out other ways to score, uh, whether it's in the paint, uh, mid-range, or from the three-point line. Have you seen that? You know, going to go any different way from even the first game to the most recent game? Or? Um, yeah, for sure. I'm, I'm <laughs> you know, having more pressure on me, uh, more face guarding. Uh, but I'm finding new ways to score, you know, back cutting a lot. Coaches emphasize that. It's like, I got to cut and I got to be a better screener, and I'll be open. So.